Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to UCAT Festival TV. I'm Colm Cronin. We're halfway to through day two, and I am very pleased to be joined by the highly entertaining Carl Baker Green. Carl, how are you, sir? I'm all right, Colm. I'm all right. Um, now, we were uh, chatting uh, beforehand, and um, the uh, near biblical rain that we were experiencing in Dublin this morning seemed to be making its way across uh, over your way. So uh, hopefully the thunder and lightning won't <laughs> interfere with the interview, but we'll we'll see. Um, I suppose to get to have viewers have the opportunity to get you to know you a little bit. Um, how you know what is it that that you do um, at your university, and how did you get involved with UCAT? Oh, interesting. Um, so I'm sociology course leader at Sheffield Army University, and I'm also a module leader on graduate development, um, mainly because I've always had um, a need really to help students. I don't know, I suppose it's from my working class backgrounds that I see this um, affliction to a lot of kids that come into our Sheffield Army University being a post 92 uh, uh, university and it, we get a lot of students that are first time at university um, and they, they, they've got no confidence or a lack of confidence so this idea of personal tutoring and um, academic advising and, and being there for these students has always been part of what I think is important at university and then a, a colleague of mine Alison McCamley I don't think she'll mind me mentioning the name we got talking and she says Carl you want to get involved with this because it really is a good thing and it really does you know, it dovetails to how you think and started talking, talking to David, talking to uh, Dave Lockie, David uh, Gray, um, and thought, yeah, I'd like to do this. And then I became, I said, oh yeah, I've got no problem becoming your blog editor, which I am the blog editor. Um, so please, if you've got anything for the blog, please send it to me. I don't care what it is, ideas, uh, something that you've, you've, you've half worked up, something you want to talk about, something you're interested in, please let me know because yeah, it's very difficult when you're on your own. I could write everything from my perspective, but it gets a little boring. So uh, that's a little plug for the blog. Yeah, great. So yeah, great. that's how I'm involved with you, Kat, because it's part of how I see my role as a course leader and as a person. Fantastic. Um, I didn't I didn't know you were the editor of the blog. That's great. And we'll definitely put the, con the contact details uh, with this video. So how how have you been enjoying uh, the UCAT festival thus far? It's been absolutely fantastic. I've chaired, I haven't actually attended any sessions, but I have chaired several, well, three yesterday, and I'm doing three today. Um, I love the fact that there's been so many fantastic ideas, policies, theories, and practices that are being explored and then discussed in these presentations. For example, this morning, I, um, I chaired Nora Arafa's presentation on strategies to design and expand a peer support service. And I think it's fantastic the way that the American University of Sharjah, if I've said that right, um, where Nora works in the United Arab Emirates, is, is actually utilizing a peer advisor system to help with tutoring and, and, and advising. And I was fascinated with how they were training high achieving students by shadowing um, actual tutor advisors and also via workshops to then be in a position to actually help students who were achieving, um, who weren't achieving at that level. Excellent stuff going off there, ideas that are coming forward. Um, I also chaired um, Marjorie Wilson's presentation on developing and implementing a personal tutoring code and learning analytic at Teesside University and again totally fascinating how they use uh, you know how they use the uh, technology in the form of this I've never heard of it before but this thing called stream um, to help understand our students are engaging with their course across their degree fantastic absolutely brilliant both presentations fantastically presented really appreciated by those who attended um, and we also had some fantastic, lively discussions. And thankfully, these have been recorded. So people who, uh, you know, attended other parts of, or other streams in this uh, presentation uh, will be able to actually view them at a time in their leisure, which is what I'm going to do with some of the ones that I couldn't because I were chairing. 
Yeah, I think that's actually one of the upsides to the virtual nature of the event. Ordinarily, you have to choose between sessions and, you know, you, you might miss out. Whereas now you do have to choose, but later on you can actually go back if there's another session. So, and there has been so many brilliant sessions happening thus far. And there is a whole lot more to come over the next couple of days. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to? Well, I'm, I'm open. I, I say looking forward to I'm chairing again on Thursday and Friday, so I might not be able to get to some of the sessions. Um, what I am looking forward to, though, is the pub quiz tonight because I'm hosting that. And that's um, six fantastic rounds, uh, questions including general knowledge, back to school, film, books and TV, sports, a picture round and a music round. So, you know, there's some fantastic prizes. Um, well, if you think fantastic prizes are the ones that you get on blankety blank, they're fantastic prizes. Uh, but please just come along. You, you'll really enjoy it. You'll be put into teams automatically. There's no choosing teams. Just turn up. Uh, fantastic. But I am looking forward to the rest of the conference as well, Thursday and Friday. Yeah. Yeah, lots of lots of good stuff. So, and it's good to know that um, if somebody is just turning up on on their own tonight, they will be put into a team, so they don't have to have a ready-made team or anything like that. And perhaps, like Bullseye, you could win your bus fare home. <laughs> Here's what you could have won. <laughs> um, for anyone watching, if you want more information, do check out the UCAT website and the various UCAT social media channels. Carl, I want to thank you for chatting to me today. It's been really good fun. It has. Thank you, Colin.